Hello everyone, Hugo founder Dream Great. Welcome to Elias Tech Channel. If you're new here, welcome. And I'm so excited to see you all once again. I'm with one of the another most important topic. It's a very important topic for those who have interviewed. IT interview. This is the first or second or the third question. Precisely, they're going to ask you this question. For example, what is different between hub and switch? What is different between bridge and switch? What is different between hub and switch? This question is all the time from long time ago. I can say it's a traditional question of IT question. On top of that, furthermore, I'm going to describe what is hub, what is switch. What is bridge? What makes it different between hub and switch? What makes it different between switch and hub? This all question will be answered by this guy. Okay, the complete guidance of hub, bridge, and switch. Let's talk about about this all technology on the board with more details hub is one of the another device for internet network connection which most of the company were using in their offices to connect the network devices with one another hub is a stand for hierarchical universal bus hierarchical hierarchical universal bus hub is a single board broadcast domain see i need your attention in here because i want to go with more details and later on you can find out what is different between hub and switch and bridge hub is a single board broadcast domain and hub is a physical layer of osi model if you're not familiar about the osi model what i'm suggesting you to go ahead and search about the osi model but hub is a physical layer of osi model means it's in the middle media layer of osi model so if any device which is a physical layer of OSI model means that is a media layer. That device is not that much intelligent to know where the request come from and where this request will go. It's a physical layer of OSI model. On top of that, I said it's a single board broadcast domain. Broadcast domain is equal to one <clears throat> or broadcast is equal to one. One of the another thing which is very important to know and this, these are the most important I think tips or clue to distinguish between hub and switch and bridge. Hub broadcast domain is equal to one. There is a there is a call collision domain is equal to one. What does it mean? This device itself is creating a collision inside because if A want to send a request to computer C, the rest of the computer must hold on their horses until they receive a request from computer A. If at, at the main while computer B want to send a request to computer A and computer A want to send a request to computer C, then there's a collision. Because the hub is not that much intelligent to detect the MAC address or physical layer or data link layer of OSI model to distinguish the devices to find out where this request come from and where am I supposed to send this request. Since it is a physical layer of OSI model, it's like a, like a cable. I do remember we had a project to run a network cable into different buildings in different places. I noticed one of the rooms which was so far from the server room, that guy was always complaining about the slowness of internet. Until I found out it was less than 100 meter, or it was even it was less than 100 meter, I'm telling you. And even it was less than 0.062137 miles, but he was receiving a drop. Because 85 to 86 meters is fine, but more than that, I'm sure we probably need to use a hub. Hub is a regenerator. So at that time, I purchased a hub. I put the hub in the middle as a regenerator, signal refresher. For example, if we have a hundred meter from here, for example, if we have a if we have a hundred cat five cat five cable, so we need to uh, cut and put the hub in the middle. Then the computer will receive the fresh signal okay this was a brief information about the hub let's talk about what is bridge bridge is a data link layer of OSI model 
as the second layer of Osai model. Bridges, better smarter than Hop because Hop was like a bland man. But this guy is a smart. He know where the request come from, where he's supposed to send the request. Broadcast domain is equal to port number. So because it is intelligent, the, the bridge itself is intelligent. He know where the request come from, where he's supposed to send the request. You can you can spe specify port number one is for one broadcast domain and port number two is for another broadcast domain. But the thing with the bridge is the main concept of bridge is to connect to LAN, to connect the two LAN. What does LAN stand for? Local area network. Overall, bridge is designed for to interconnect the LAN inside with one another. Do we are using bridge right nowadays? No, bridge stories over again. We are not using HAP anymore. We are not using bridge anymore because the two technology is gone. But as a technical person, to be more aware of this technology, as a smart, as a person like me, to have a passion to know what else is there, it's the part of responsibility. And top of that, most of the company are very smart to know how far you can go with this kind of question. It is better to go with more details. <coughs> Collision domain is equal to port number. What does it mean? Because if I connect, for example, from hub, here's, 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 here's a very interesting example. If I connect a hub, into this port instead of this one so the bridge will know that there's a lot of collision because there's a collision these are fighting with one another the request goes to the bridge the bridge eliminate and terminate the request they said excuse me for me collision domain is equal to one so they said no the collision domain i'm smarter than you you are not allowed to play inside the bridge so the collision domain is equal to port number. The main difference between bridge and switch. Here is the main and trusting part that I'm going to share, which I can say, I can say it's a missing chapter in many university or college, is that bridge is a software base and switch is a hardware base. Switch is faster than bridge. Don't forget that switch is faster than bridge because bridge is a software base and switch is a hardware base don't forget that before i talk about the switch and i will definitely you still confuse about what is collision domain and i will definitely describe that collision domain in a little while just i need your attention let's talk about what a switch switch is very smarter and i have a specific video about the types of switch you can go ahead and watch that one as well that could be my first youtube video as well and i will suggest you to go ahead and watch that one as well and i will try my best to see if i put in the uh, link down below you can click it and go and learn about the types of switch but overall switch is smarter than hub and switch switch broadcast domain is equal to port number each number is represent its own a broadcast domain See, what is broadcast domain? For example, we have a 192.168.0.0. Uh, slash 24. Are you guys with me? Cool. So this is called a one broadcast domain. If I type 192.168.1.0 uh, slash 24. So this is the second broadcast domain. It's a broadcast domain so when I say that hub broadcast domain is equal to one you are able to connect your devices only through one broadcast domain when I say bridge is broadcast domain is equal to port number I mean each port can represent one broadcast domain in case if you want to set up and if you want to configure then they will accept it like we have a VLAN technology so through the VLAN a logical interface okay now switch as a data link layer of OSI model means switch is a smarter as well means switch is a smart and switch no if client a want to send a message to client b switch has a contents addressable memory if you all remember and we have mls now multi-layer switch what is content ternary contents addressable memory keep the mac address in their memory for 300 second don't forget that switch remember the MAC address 300 seconds. You can change it 
as well you can change the aging time as well but by default when you purchase a Cisco switch itself or if you if you purchase any types of switch include the Cisco switch or whether it's a catalyst switch or any types of switch it does come with a 300 second holding um, MAC address so main switch switch no when client A send the request to client B beside that one of the other tips that I'm going to share in here we have a fluting what is fluting what is fluting before I talk about risk collision fluting we have a fluting fluting what is fluting the question is what is fluting whenever we plug a new computer in our switch at the first time I send a request to all port of the switch this is called the fluting and switch itself find that okay so client a want to send a message to client b then it goes to the contents of our stable memory it is stored and the next time if computer a want to send a message to computer b floating is two is over means at the first time it is built in by design this is how it's supposed to do because you have to find the destiny so floating is happen one time sometimes attackers getting a benefit of this kind of thing it send too many floating in our network so floating one time is okay two times okay if we plug a computer for one time two time it is okay but if there's a too much floating it doesn't uh, affect in our switch performance as well and our switch perform very slow because the switch is busy with the floating request all the time okay collision domain is also equal to port number any collision for example if i connect the hub to my switch for example from here if i connect it to my switch the switch will eliminate and determinate any collision domain see one thing i want to tell you if you're running any virtual machine if you're running any virtual uh, network devices which is acting or i do remember one of uh, the tools with most of the people are using like Kali Linux you can change the format of your interface it's for temporary you change your port to the trunk or so on so that is why sometimes you are not able to access the internet because switch is very intelligent and switch get if there is a collision or some error switch itself is terminate and block that kind of activity that is why switch is very smart and everyone nowadays purchasing switch and instead of hub and bridge and I say that hub and bridge is series over no one is using from long time ago I think I have covered all the stuff about the hub and switch I'm sure now we have bright information about hub bridge and switch okay I hope the information was very helpful if you think it was very helpful what are you waiting for share this topic with all your friends with your colleagues with whoever you think they pursue and have a passion and curiosity about the technology the only way to appreciate my work is to simply subscribe my channel and like the video that you really like and you have learned some stuff through some of the videos that I have shared and the next time it says safe be brave and of course see you next time